Hello everyone, welcome to DataBoots. I hope you are all doing fine. This is our new video on Power BI, Power Query Interview Questions and Answers. This video is a part of playlist where we will make five videos. First video will be on Power BI Interview Questions and Answers for freshers, then for intermediate level, then for experience level. Basically, we are going to increase the level of difficulty from easy to hard. Then we have Power BI Dex Interview Questions and Answers. Then we have Power BI Power Query Interview Questions and Answers. So without wasting time, let's get started with the video. So before starting, I would request you to please do subscribe our channel Data Wolves on YouTube and visit us on different social media platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Visit our website datawolves.com. We regularly post updates regarding Microsoft certification exam, data science, data analytics and Power BI. If you find this video insightful, then please do like this video and feel free to ask any question in comment section. I will try my best to answer all of them. Let's start with first question. What is Power Query and why is it important for Power BI? Power Query is a data connection and transformation tool. In Power BI, it allows user to import and manipulate data from various sources and transform it into the format that can be used for analysis and reporting. Power Query is important for Power BI as it provides an easy way to access, clean and transform data, making it uh, ready for analysis and visualization in Power BI. So let's open Power BI in desktop. So whenever you click on this transform tab, this Power Query editor will open in sales dashboard Power Query editor. And here you can see, we will see all the uh, tables which are there in this model in left side in queries pane. Then we can, when we click on the table name, we will see the table. And in right hand side, we have query settings. We will, we will see all the steps which we applied on this table, like we connected the Power BI to source, then we navigated this table, then we promoted this header. So if I click on this step and this step, you can see we connected with the source, then we promoted this header on to to the header section then we change the type of column right now the column type is abc123 abc123 but when we click on this you can see this is changed to date format this is changed to text format this is also changed to text format and this quantity is uh, changed to number format and we renamed few of the columns so this is the power bi power query editor and you can see different tabs also here home transform add column view so this is basically used to connect with data sources from here you can connect the data sources you can cleanse the data like if you click on transform there are many filters or tabs to cleanse the data and you can transform it like you can use uh, rename replace values fill down pivot and pivot create new columns from example and invoke custom columns now let's move to second question. Can you explain the M language and how is it used in Power Query? So the M language also known as Power Query Formula language is a functional language used in Power Query for data transformation. It is used to write expression and function for data manipulation such as filtering, sorting, aggregation. The M language is used in Power Query to perform advanced data transformation and to create custom functions. So let's again go to Power Query. So whatever the steps which we applied, they are converted into M language. If you go to this home section and then advanced editor, you can see that all these steps which we applied here are converted into M code. So if you know M code, you can directly write the M code. And if you want to make custom functions, then also you can do with M code here in this advanced editor. So this is a very powerful tool for cleansing the data and transforming the data. Next question is, how does Power Query help in data cleansing and preparation for Power BI? Power Query provides a range of tools for data cleansing and preparation such as removing duplicates, splitting columns, merging tables, changing data types. The M language can also be used to write custom expression for cleansing and transforming data, making it easier to prepare data for analysis in Power BI. As I just showed you in this Power Query editor, so you can like uh, connect with the data sources, you can remove columns, keep rows, remove rows. So these all are for cleansing purpose. You can merge queries, append queries. And in transform tab, you can do transform, reverse rows, count rows, then detect data type. You can uh, fill up and down pivot and unpivot columns. So there are various options are available for cleansing 
and replacing and transforming the data. Next question is can you explain the difference between Power Query and DEX in Power BI? Power Query and DEX are two separate tools in Power BI used for different purpose. Where Power Query is used for data connection and transformation and cleansing part which I just showed you while DEX is used for data modeling and calculation when we are creating report and when we are connecting the different tables in data model tab. Power Query is used to import, clean and transform data while DEX is used to create custom calculation and aggregation in data models. So I think this is very clear to you. Now next question is what is query folding? So query folding in Power BI is a process of pushing down data transformation operation from Power BI to source database instead of performing them in Power BI. This process helps to reduce the amount of data that needs to be transformed from database to Power BI which can improve the performance thus reduce the time it takes to load the data in Power BI. And query folding is possible when using a data source that supports SQL such as SQL Server Oracle and, and query folding can help to in, improve the performance by reducing the amount of data that needs to be transformed and processed within Power BI by offloading the process to source database which may optimize for data transformation analysis. So let's see what Power Query does. So whenever you apply some changes in Power Query editor uh, and if your source is a SQL supported and you're, you are applying query folding then what will happen like all these steps which you applied which you are doing in Power BI these will be converted into native query and that query will be fed to source database and all these changes let's say if you are doing any filtering or cleansing the column will be done by source and the cleanse data and transform data will be fetched into Power BI so it will reduce the amount of space that is occupied in the Power BI and reduce uh, time or calculation efforts that Power BI needs to do so guys that's all for this video if you find this video insightful then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section we will try our best to answer all of them Check us out on different social media platform like LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter and check our websites that is datawolves.com. So we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.